Friday morning, it was lines down for the largest international game fishing tournament in the country. With $300,000 in prize money at stake, 39 boats carrying 187 anglers dragged their lines off the Tobago coastline. 10 hours per day for three days of competition. The first two days proved to be the most productive. There were welcome catches, like this battling dolphin fish, and some unexpected guests, like this mecho shark. At 4 o'clock every afternoon, lines would be drawn and the boats headed back to home base at Pigeon Point. Most anglers wanted the prize catch, a blue marlin. It was here of the island group known as the Sisters that the biggest marlin catch would be made on the second day. Monday on board Lennox Stanyuk's Grand Slam, two yellowfin tuna were caught. But like most boats on the final day, big catches were very hard to come back. Every day, successful anglers proudly showing off their catches, but it was on the scale at Pigeon Point that fish were classified and weights recorded. 12-year-old Chris Gillette, a member of the Four Sons team, was the youngest successful angler. But the catch of the tournament was this monster, a 631 and a quarter pound blue marlin, an all-comers record in Trinidad and Tobago waters. The giant fish losing a 45-minute battle with Roger Allyung of Barracuda. At the award ceremony on Monday night, Roger received his trophy for the record that may well stand for some time. Ray Thompson and crew received the Carib Challenge Trophy for the best boat, big deal, having amassed 1,415 points over the three games. But it was Winfrey Lalyong's Barracuda crew which celebrated most of this time, his son Roger earning a $70,000 check from Carib for his record blue marlin catch. At the end of another successful Carib International Tournament, The Tobago Game Fishing Club was formed this year, but this in fact was the second annual Tobago tournament. Thirteen boats competed, the Pigeon Point Beach Resort being the base for the two-day event. Ten hours of fishing are permitted on each day, lines going down from six in the morning. On Saturday, Hard Play caught the most in terms of weight, and David Campbell on board Hard Play caught the only marlin, but it was released being too small. Campbell also caught the biggest wahoo of the tournament, this 36 and 3 quarter pounder. Andrew Miller, a local enthusiast, caught the only sailfish on board Illusion. At 50 pounds, it would be the largest catch over the two days of competition. On Sunday, yours truly, armed with camera, boarded Papa San, which recently won an international game fishing tournament in Martinique. Papa San is owned and skippered by Charlie Brash and the crew had intentions of overtaking the leaders and defending champions hard play. 35 minutes after leaving Pigeon Point, the first strike, and success for Murray Fornilier, who caught a wahoo. Hey, watch him, watch your hand by that boat, eh? Some 20 minutes later, Colin Lobo hooks up with another wahoo. This one dragging a bit of seaweed along with it. And so Papa San was now in the chase. But it would be a difficult day for all. Several young dolphin would be tagged and released, part of the National Game Fishing Association's conservation effort. The tournament is played under international game fishing rules. Points in the competition are determined by the weight of fish and the strength of the line on which it is reeled in. Several hours would now pass without incident. Then, with 45 minutes to go before lines up, a double strike, Lobo and Brash Jr. simultaneously getting that telltale tension on the line. And within minutes, two more Wahoo would be on the deck of Papa San, which would be the most successful boat on this final day. At 4 p.m., all competitors respond to the call from Jean Stamfley at Pigeon Point. Lines up back to base for the weighing of all fish. The Papa San is the largest and fastest boat owned locally. It has to be moored off the jetty, being a 65-foot-long Hatteras. At the other end of the scale, 
Christy Lee was the most successful outboard craft, capturing the largest dolphin. Being a member of the only all-female crew, Tia De Silva was adjudged the best female angler. The most successful overall, David Campbell, with the biggest wahoo. And for the second year running, Gerard Frothy De Silva's hard play was the best boat of the tournament. Papa San was second, and Illusion took third place.